Welcome back to A-Star Personal Tutoring. In this session, we are going to focus on time and we're going to look at o'clock and half past today. Now o'clock, the minute hand points to 12. This is usually the large hand, so the big hand always points at number 12. This means that it is o'clock. The next one is nine o'clock. Now have a think, where does the big hand go and where does the small hand go? Well done if you said that the small hand goes on nine and the big hand goes on 12. That is nine o'clock. The next one is two o'clock. The small hand goes on number two and the big hand goes on number 12. That is two o'clock. Let's have a look at a couple more. Okay, have a go at this one now. This one reads five o'clock. Big hand goes on 12 and the small hand goes on five. The next one is 12 o'clock. Now the big hand goes on 12 and the small hand also goes on 12. This reads 12 o'clock. Now we're going to have a look at half past. Now before we said the minute hand points to 12 if it's o'clock, but this time if the minute hand points to 6, it is half past. So the big hand goes on number 6. This one is half past seven. Where do you think the big hand is going to go? Well done if you said it goes on number six. And the small hand has just gone past the number seven. It's not reached eight just yet, but as you can see, it's still on number seven, just slightly above. Have a go at this one now. This one reads half past three. Big hand goes on number six and the small hand has just gone past number three. Let's have a look at the next one. This one is half past twelve. Big hand goes on number six and the small hand has just gone between twelve and one. That is half past twelve. Next one is half past five. Have a go at this one. Where do you think the big hand is going to go? Well done if you said it goes on number six. Remember half past is just half of 12. Big hand goes on number 12 if it's all clock, but if it's half past, it's half past if 30 minutes has gone forward. So it should look something like this for half past five. The next one is half past nine. This is the last one that we're going to do. It's pretty straightforward. Big hand goes on number six and small hand has just gone past number nine. Now we're going to have a look at some questions. I would like for you to have a go. This question says, Ben goes to school at eight o'clock. It takes him one hour to get there. What time does he arrive? You can see the big hands pointing at 12. So that is all clock. And, if the, and the small hand is pointing at eight. So that is eight o'clock. Now the question is saying it takes him one hour to get there. So now all I have to do is go all around again until I reach o'clock. So one hour is 60 minutes. And now my new time is nine o'clock. And the last question is Jill is baking a cake. She puts it in the oven at five o'clock. It takes two hours to cook. What time does she need to take it out? No. So if it takes two hours to cook, we need to, go, we need to go around twice. So that's one hour, which is six o'clock. And then we're going to add another hour. So now, what do you think the time is? The big hand's on 12 and the small hand is on seven. The answer is seven o'clock. So what time does she need to take it out? She needs to take it out at 7 o'clock. Thank you for watching.